In question 4, we have a diagram showing a cross-section through an optical fibre used for communication. In A part 1, we're asked to name the part of the fibre labelled X. Well, X is the cladding. In part 2, we need to find the critical angle for the boundary between the core and X. Well, the sine of the critical angle is equal to the refractive index of material 2 over the refractive index of material 1. Putting in the values given in the diagram, gives the critical angle at 75 degrees. In B part 1, the ray leaves the core at Y. At this point the fibre has been bent through 30 degrees. We need to find the value of the angle I. Well the angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees and so I is 180 minus 30 and the 85 already shown in the triangle giving I as 65 degrees. For part 2 we are asked to calculate the angle R. For this we can use Snell's law and theta 2 is R in this case. Putting in all the values gives theta 2 at 70 degrees. In C the core of another fibre is made with a smaller diameter. The curvature is the same and the path of the ray of light is shown we need to state and explain one advantage of using a smaller diameter core. Well, there's less chance of the light reaching the boundary at less than the critical angle, so less chance of light escaping. There's also less of a difference in path length due to different routes through the fibre. This reduces the effects of multipath dispersion.